Okay, Diaz. There are only two witnesses who are close enough to the crash to see something. One's on his way here already. His name is Marshawn Lynch. <gasps> Marshawn Lynch? Marshawn Lynch, the football player? I don't know his hobbies. It just says here he's unemployed. We're tired. We're not getting anything out of him. He's always getting fined for refusing to talk to the press. Ugh. He's kind of one of my heroes. Well, it may be tough and it may take a while, but I'm sure we'll get him to open up. Sir, there are some vaults you just can't open. I didn't see anything. I'll see you my quesadilla. It was a good one. Chicken, cheese, guac. But they forgot my pico de gallo. I remember when I was a little boy, my mama used to make this, uh, she used to call it faux cheese. What y'all call it? Y'all call it four? How come they never make quesadillas with sausage? You throw some tomato sauce in there and call it a piece of dilla. What you think? What is going on? I can disable the security DVRs, but I need some way of getting to a station unnoticed. I have an idea on how to smuggle you in, but it'll be a tight fit. I'm flexible. I do a lot of yoga. You do yoga? Helps keep me centered. If you ask me about it again, I'll hunt you down and rip your face off. Okay, great. Good plan. I won't, I won't ask you about it again. I got the DVRs. Uh, actually, that that's my lint. My lint is oblong. My lint is blue. Okay, sounds like we got a plan. Let's get to training. Hey, I've been looking for you. Before you decide what to do with Sam, there's someone I think you should talk to. Miss Miriam. Surprise! I tracked down your old ballet coach. I brought her in to remind you of the effect a kind, nurturing presence can have on a young life. Hello, dear. Have you continued to dance? No, Miss Miriam. Well, there's no surprise in that. You always were a lazy ox. What's this now? Look at your posture. You look as if you should be ringing the bells at Notre Dame. <laughs> Miss Miriam was not nurturing. At all. All right, Ox. Let's see what you've got. Five, six, seven, eight. Eyes up, shoulders down. Well, that wasn't terrible. See, Serge? Tough love works. Damn it. Terry proved the wrong point. Party round two, the quiz. Winner gets a question mark crown. So cool. Um, I'll take lonely arts and crafts for 800. First of all, I've made many friends through arts and crafts. And how many of them are googly eyes? And secondly, it's a drinking game. Get a question wrong, do a shot. Oh, and the questions, they're all about Rosa. But none of us know anything about Rosa. Everyone's about to get real hammered. What is my favorite soup? Chicken noodle. Potato leek. Car frickin' noodle. Ah, oh, I mean chowder, damn it. You're all wrong, I've never had soup. Don't bother, they all suck. Drink. Battle axe. Uppercut. Disembowelment. Guys, I was a baby. My first word was dada. Drink. Ah. Ah. Wrong. I can totally do a handstand. Ah. Oh. Oh. Told ya. Good luck following this party, ya bish. All right, well, you're up. Where are we going? A restaurant. Specifically, the petite colon. It means small intestine. Because that's all they serve. Oh man, I was rooting for you. Ah. I don't think I can eat that. Neither can anyone else, which is why they shut it down. We are not eating at this restaurant. We are demolishing it. Damn! Boils win win! Yeah! Madam, may I offer you the first whack? I've been dreaming about this since I was a little girl. No! Guys, love is beautiful. Come on, man, use your muscles. Use my muscles? Oh, great, why didn't I think of that? Great advice, Terry. You know what, it's a pull up. There's not much to coach here. So there's Carrie, Miranda, Charlotte, and Samantha, but New York City is really the fifth character. Hmm. What about Steve? He seems nice. Oh, Steve is nothing, no one likes Steve. Steve is nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I don't get it. Miranda could have had Blair Underwood, but she settles for Steve. Oh, but you do get it, sir. See, now you do. How is you doing that helping me? Scully. Rosa. Good job. Can you do it without screaming? Pra bub Lee. Then we're ready. <laughs> Another sex in the city. Guilty as charged. My favorite season has to be the third one. Everything was going right for Carrie. Her face was on every bus. Her column was the talk of the town. And she met everyone's favorite furniture maker, Aiden Shaw. Sure, she melted down when he tried to introduce her to his parents. And she flipped out when she bumped into Big, getting out of that cab with Natasha, whom he had married. Mm, who can blame her? They barely knew each other. The best episode that year was episode six, entitled, Are We Sluts? You know the one. Carrie was all in her head because she and Aiden weren't having sex. Meanwhile, across town, Charlotte couldn't stop having sex. And Samantha, Samantha was just being Samantha. The season finale that year was entitled Cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Roger that. Webs. I hate big. Carrie should have ended up with Mikhail Baryshnikov. What? He slapped her. Are you insane? I left my phone in the briefing room. It's been 20 minutes. Do you think they're still? They're not doing anything. Kissing just turned to talk. It's like, why even work here? Listen up. We have an announcement to make. When I was in that Uzbek prison, choking on my own blood because my face was being beaten in, I realized life is funny. That's what you realized? Mm -hmm. And it's short. We're picking up where we left off when Adrian went into hiding. We're getting married tomorrow. Oh, oh. tomorrow. That's real quick. Thank you, Sarge. And we want it to be beautiful and lush and romantic, just like a Nancy Myers movie. She's our favorite director. Aw, I love You've Got Mail. That's Nora Ephron, you idiot. I know. This is just 18 shots of espresso. It got me through the first three months of having twins, but I imagine it'll sober you up, too. Ah, he's taking care of you. He's such a good father. Oh, I miss my father. He used to be daddy's little girl, but we never talk anymore. You don't? That's what happens. You grow up, your bond with your dad goes. No, it doesn't always happen, all right? Not to special daddies who put the time in. You know, read them stories, do the little pigtails. Really, Sarge? Who do you think used to do my pigtails? Why can't they stay babies forever? Berlini. 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 Maybe he went up the wall, like this. Ah! Oh! Never mind. It's not possible. Sure. Damn, Rosa! How did you do that? I have a dark past. <laughs> now you know my deepest shame. Cool. Well, now that I saw you do it, I get how to do it, too. Oh, damn, Terry. Yes, Eunice, we know who you are. That man is in the hall right now. What? He's heading for the back exit. Look, there's Sergio. Damn it, he's getting away again. Not this time, partner. See on the ground. What? You're mine, Sergio! Oh. Did he get away? Yes, very easily. What the hell were you thinking? You're lucky you just dislocated your knee. How do you know it's dislocated? I went to med school for three years. You did? When? That's not the point. Why did you jump off the building? I was trying to make up for letting him get away seven years ago. What? I don't care about that. You had an instinct, you followed it, and you were wrong. That happens to everybody. Did by you. Good. Go on. And then it got more and more awkward to bring up, so I never did. I just hoped that we'd catch him eventually and You'd never be tipped off to the fact that I let him go. Oh. I... What are you doing with your face and your voice? I had an epiphany. I got real excited. I moved my knee, and now I hurt a real bad. OK, breathe through the pain and tell me what you figured out. Someone tipped off Sergio that the cops were visiting his grandmother, and there was only one person that knew we were cops, a nurse who hates old people, Ezra. Of course. Never leave your money unprotected. That's the first thing I learned in business school. You also went to business school? Yeah, and I also have a pilot's license. Whatever. Point is, now we have a link to Sergio, so let's go get him. So we're good. You're not mad at me anymore? No. You're about to be real mad at me. For what? Because I'm going to reset your knee. Look at the bunny. Huh?